Welcome to Fantastiverse. In this episode of Silver Age Classics, we examine Gold Key Comics Star Trek number one. Long before Star Trek was one of the entertainment franchises, with libraries of endless adaptations being the norm, the raw, early days of the series, the original series, faced a rough landscape offering no guarantees of success. While comic adaptations of 1960s TV series were nothing new to the industry, most were less about the source material and more about generating a quick profit before the interest quickly waned. However, when Gold Key Comics took a chance on the NBC science fiction drama, which was not exactly setting TV ratings on fire, they were tasked with creating an adapted series strong enough in the hope that it would avoid the fate of most TV to comic titles, producing a handful of issues and then resulting in a quick cancellation. Why is this a classic? Despite the routine criticism of inaccuracies, Gold Key's version, which was replicated in volumes of every format across the world, managed to keep the spirit of the original series alive far beyond its network life, and at times, being responsible for introducing young readers to the basic series concept in an inviting manner. As a result, Gold Key's winning formula inspired other companies who were in the business of producing Star Trek merchandise to use Gold Key's stylized title instead of the well-known TV version. That's strong enough evidence that the comic's appeal was so far-reaching, manufacturers wanted to make an instant association with the four-color Star Trek comic as much as the actual series. The 12-year success of Star Trek served as a primer for TV adaptations to come, as Gold Key produced the longest-running Star Trek comic ever published, including attempts from comic book industry giants DC and Marvel. Gold Key Star Trek endured in an industry that saw innumerable, more recognizable, more celebrated superhero or half-hearted TV and movie adaptations vanish. And it all began with this thrilling, occasionally quirky, first issues template, making it a classic of the Silver Age. What's your favorite comic book classic? Let us know in the comments below. And for more comic book classics, subscribe to Fantastiverse.